Welcome everyone. I know you've seen these kind of types of designs on PowerPoint. Let me show you how to recreate these in Canva. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come over to the apps tab. We want to type in wave, W-A-V-E, -E, and we want to get the wave generator, which is this purple one right here. As you can see, it says wave generator. You're going to click on that. And then you can see that it has a way you can shape your waves. So you're going to go in there and pick what kind of wave that you like. We can go all kinds of waves. That one looks pretty good, but let's see what else we can get. So you can see there's all different types of wave. Ooh, what's that other one? Will it, will it make that one again? I like that. that one's too, too dippy. You don't want something that's too dippy. That one's pretty good. Let's do that. If you want to, you can do like these kind of lines, these kind of lines. You could put your boxes in there if you want to, but we're just going to do waves for right now. So that's a good little wave here. So let's start that one. We're going to add that to our design. So what I want to do is I want to make it all the way across like so, and then I'll put it down at the bottom for the moment. So the next thing I want to do is I want to come over to elements and I want to get me a square. So what I'm going to do with this square is I'm going to get the border style. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weight of the border. So whatever you want, space-wise in between, make sure that's the size of your border because you're only going to see the sides. So if you want it like super thick, make it super thick. If you want them thin, thin, but just whatever your size. So I think that's a good size right there. So what you're going to do now is you're going to make them at whatever length you want them. So what we're going to do now is take the center and make that transparent. I'm going to change the background color for a minute so we can see what we're doing. So I want to put that to a light gray. So what I want to do now is I want to go and take, click back on there. I'm going to take my border color. We're going to have a white background. So I'm going to change all these to white. So now what I want to do is duplicate these. And then I want them to go. And then I want that piece right there to overlap. So I want that to look like that. So I'm going to duplicate those, duplicate them across all the way across. Let's see if we made enough to go all the way across our photo. Let's duplicate. Let's take that off a little more and then we will duplicate one more. Oh, what did it duplicate? Oh, it duplicated our waves. We don't want to duplicate the waves. We want to duplicate this. So we get one more and we're going to put it here. Line that up over top of that one like so. And then we have our board. Now you probably do this with frames, but I just think this is just a little bit easier because if you do it with frames, you're going to have to sit there and manipulate the picture for each frame. This way you don't have to do that. So what I want to do now is I want to turn this white, since I said we're using a white background, correct? And then I want to put it up so it covers the ends of my squares. So all of my squares and say, I want them coming off the, all the way off the page. So we'll just put them up like so. So you don't see the tops. We don't want the tops. We want the whole picture at the top. So we're going to just move these, move them on up. And we're going to move them up, move them up. All right. Like so. And then what you want to do is go ahead and you change your background back to white. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go grab our photo. I use the pumpkin. It's that time of year. And you're going to size it and put Place it like you want it on here, all the way across. You're going to go in a position and put it all the way to the back, above the background. And then you can manipulate it, say, I want more pumpkin. And then I'm going to do it like this. And ta-da, that's how you have that. And then you can put all your text and your little uh, elements down at the bottom like you want. And that's how you do that slide. If you want to do it like I did with the other one, the other thing you can do, we can move this one down like here. I can grab all these like so, move that down to the center, center that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wave up like I had it before. And all I did was duplicate it. Or you can go back in the wave generator and make a completely different wave. So, oh, and that is a little crooked there. And then I can put that up above there like so, cover that up. I got a little bit of picture hanging out. So what I'm going to do is just move that down. And ta-da, you've got a cool little wave in the center. And you can put something up here, harvest, time, and that's how you do it. And if you want to put it like a different type of background behind it, what I would do is take it, download it, put it in the background remover, and then you can just place this 
on top of whatever background you want. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. And that's how you do this effect. And I am Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. I love you and I hope this helped you out and I'll see you on the next one.